boys and girls welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing some makeup inspired by Lee Nash the first thing we're gonna do today is conceal because we're going to be using a powder foundation and I don't like putting concealer on top of powder foundation and I will also put the look on screen and I don't think she would have used like a lifting the concealer technique. I don't think that such techniques were a thing past a couple years ago, <laughs> so I think you just sort of dotted it on your under eye. And I also I apologize for any consistent any inconsistencies in audio because I got a mic and I'm still trying to figure that out. So I'm just gonna like spot conceal all those little bumps. just the ones that are really red. I have a redness relief powder somewhere, but I don't feel like digging it out. So, we just gonna chill. So today, I guess since we're doing our makeup like a musician, we'll talk about music. Music is in like a really weird place right now, because we have people trying to revive old genres and some of them doing really well and some of them not so well um and then we have the the new like sort of like gen z artists i guess you could say like they're very bless you I said bless you! You're welcome! Like, everything about them is like Gen Z. It's such a weird place because like, the people that are reviving the old genres, like it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have like the same, it's still very digital. Not that I'm against that because I produce songs digitally, digitally myself, but I don't know. At least we're still, we're like heading in that direction and not just going towards the, um, like the whole industry plan. Like what if there was a song that sounded like? Oh, so this is the Glow, I forgot what it's called, but it's a pressed powder. Oh, I might have just kind of brought it that way. So we're not going to contour yet and blush yet. We're going to go ahead and do our eyes. I'm just using blue eyeshadow in the picture, and I don't think I quite have the, the shade of blue. Um, I'm using the James Charles palette, and as usual, the palette's tight. It's not a good person, though. I'm going to just spread this all over my eyelid so that we have we're going to use that as our base then we're going to add a slightly darker color to sort of deepen it a little bit and we're just going to blend that all together and also i don't know why this always happens to me it like it gets such a build up right there I don't know if it's because I don't focus my blending right there or what, but it's for so I'm gonna take a Q-tip and wipe some of the excess off because that is not the shape that I want. Okay. <laughs> it gets so messy when you're using blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I probably should, probably should have done my concealer last, but oh well, I didn't. I can always go back and clean it. Being a musician and being a creative person in general, and I call myself a musician because even though I don't like release music or do much on the music scene, I still am a musical person. And if you're a musical person, then you're a musician in my eyes. Um, but yeah, it's always such a weird thing. It's like, you know, I 
always feel like you're gonna have to like excel in your craft to feel like you're doing good like you're gonna like have to like really excel that like not knowing like learning how to play an instrument is good enough because there are so many musicians and it's like it's sad because it's so like it's very rare that musicians aren't being like pitted up against each other you know i forgot to write a script for this i was focused on figuring out what kind of makeup i would wear so that is why i'm not talking much i'm going to put this on my bottom lash line now just a little bit i'm gonna blot some of it on the back of my hand so that it's not like too overpowering i'm just gonna do it as close to my eyelashes as I can. Now we're going to add our eyeliner. We're going to get this as close to our waterline as we can. And then, or like our lashes as we can. And then we're going to stop right at the end of our lash line. We're only doing it on our lash line. We're not going to extend it out any. I feel like I need to spin my mirror for this. This is too much pressure. too hard to recreate the sound um, that they're going for, like, they're trying too hard for nostalgia bait, if they would just sort of go with it, you know, then I feel like it would be a lot easier for them to sort of like in the thing that they're going for, you know? Okay, now I'm going to blend this like slightly with my eyeshadow. I almost forgot uh, her bottom like waterline is tight lined. So that is what we're going to do. just like a touch of like shimmer of this like uh, type of this one this blue shimmer sort of make it look a little bit more frosted just a touch though and make it look a little bit closer to the original color because I'm pretty sure hers wasn't shimmery for the rest of the face. So contour, I think it was like a very soft matte contour. Like not much if any. So I'm going to use eyeshadow because I don't have any like matte contour or bronze or anything like that. And I'm also using a dirty brush per usual. So I'm, I'm just going to hope that this turns out well. It was like a very soft blush. Um, it was very pink. This one blends out to actually be very pink. Um, this one's more of like a dusty rose color. I think I'll use this one. I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. A little bit on my chin. Touch on my nose. Okay, now for lashes. Crap, I forgot to look at what lashes she was wearing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips while I'm thinking about that. I'm just using this CoverGirl um, Clean Fresh. It's like a chapstick, kind of like a tinted lip balm. And it's not really the color she was wearing, but I don't really have the color she was wearing. I might change it once I look at the picture again, but you'll see in the outro if I decided or not. I 
decided on Lash Paradise. Just because I grew up in the early 2000s slash 2010s and I distinctly remember clumpy eyelashes being a thing. I know it's a little bit later than this time period, but... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.